Okay, so hello YouTube again. This is Demon Warrior Tech here with another great tutorial. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to basically set up Android 14 for image frame. Um, now, as you guys know, as of, uh, I think we're in September, starting of September, coming up, um, they have released Android 14 for basically every Chromecast, Chromecast with Google TV. So what we're going to check to see if we're on Android 14, you just click on the setting gear icon. Yours might look a little different. You just go to the settings bar on the top right. Mine looks a little different because I'm on um, Projectivity Launcher. Uh, we're going to go down to About, or System, sorry, then About. And if you scroll all the way down, you'll see that we are on Android TVOS version 14. Now, the first thing we have to do, it's a little different from Android 12, is we need to set up USB debugging. So to do this, we're going to go down to Android TVOS Build. Click it five times until we're a developer. I think it's five or seven. I'm already one, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, then we're gonna go down to the developer menu right below, right above cast. Uh, we're gonna go into, um, uh, down to USB debugging. Make sure this is enabled. Yours will be disabled. I'll enable it. You know, I'll give you the option, click okay. Um, we're also gonna need to do some more stuff uh, with this. Now, usually with Android 12, you would just enable it, uh, and it, that would be it, and you connect it. This is different. So we're going to go down to uh, wireless, let me see, casting. Let me find the setting for that. Oh, it's going to be down farther. Oh, here, wireless debugging, and we're going to click enable, and you're just going to click allow, and click allow again, and we're going to pair with a pairing code. Now, this is important. Uh, once we see that pairing code, we'll get an IP address. That'll be the IP address um, that we're gonna connect to. So now if you look, I'm gonna make this uh, smaller and I'm gonna go through the steps on the computer that we have to do and then also the Chromecast, vice versa, I'll have a little box in the bottom right-hand side. We'll be right back. Okay, so if we're on Android 14, we're just gonna first install the image app. To do this, um, we're gonna go into our apps. Uh, yours will show on the top right, if you're on the regular Android, go to apps. For me, I'm just gonna go to image frame. Uh, oh, not in here, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the Play Store. You'll have an apps in the top right hand, or top middle of your screen. Um, and I'm gonna search, we're gonna search for image. Hold on one second. All right, my keyboard sometimes likes to not work. I need to factory set this to fix that, but we'll do that another time. We're gonna search image, and it should be uh, the second one. Oop, hold on. Go find it somewhere. Here we go. Image frame right down here, and we'll click it. I have my install. Just click install. We're gonna open it, and we're gonna click up on the d-pad so let me just show you you won't have this and we'll go to image frame server and we'll type in our local server mines uh that but you can also type in your local ip and then your port um and then we can leave all these the same and we can close these and it should load now and now if i go home and i let it sit for 60 seconds you'll see it'll come up and i'll fast forward so you can see that once we have our parent code you see in the bottom corner i'll have a little video um, we're going to type in our command. So it's going to be ADV pair and then the IP address so 192.168.1.227 and the port which is going to be for me is 457.370 and this will change every time you pair. So this will be different depending on what device you're using and it's going to ask for that pairing code and you'll see a Wi-Fi pairing code. We're going to do 1959.46 which is my pairing code. And it may take a second, but as you see, it paired successfully. Now we can do ADB, ADB connect, and we're gonna click uh, back on the TV. And as you see, our get our um, laptop or PC should be down there. And now all we have to do is type in 192.168.1.227. And as you can see, the port, I'm gonna point it out on the screen, is going to be different. It's going to be a different port, but this is the one we're going to type in when we connect. So mine's going to be um, my same IP, two, two, ended in 227. We're going to do 36559. And now it's connected.
hopefully. And as you can see, it's connected. Now we'll just run the regular commands from image. Let me pull those up. Or image frame. We'll go to the docs. And we're gonna run the commands to run our um, information. So let's go into getting started apps and I'm gonna go down to the guide that I've set forth this will also be updated with the latest stuff for this new one but we're gonna run these three commands it's gonna be uh, this command right here again you want to make sure you have image frame installed um, that's gonna be important Oop, that was wrong hold on copy that full command And if you get that error, all you have to do is close out and reopen PowerShell. And we'll just run the commands one more time. Oh, hold on. Just connect one more time to the ADB and then we'll try it. There we go. Maybe not. Hold on. <clears throat> we may have to repair. Okay. Okay, so to fix this issue, all you do is go back. Uh, when you run the pairing process, you pair with your device in here. You're just going to click on pair with device pairing code. And then just do ADB shell. Um, and then you should be able to run the commands, like the regular commands, once you're in this pair with device command, as you can see. It's going to run. And then I'm going to run this one as well. We're going to get the timeout. So I think I have mine set to 60 seconds. We'll check it. Yep, 60 seconds, so we don't need to, but if you want to, you can set it for this, for longer or shorter. This is, I think, in milliseconds, so set it as you please. And then once we're done, we should be able to now see our image. Okay, and now you'll see that once we have set all those settings and we've set our time to 6,000, we can now see it come in 60 seconds. So I'll give it 60 seconds on the clock. I'm going to fast forward, but you'll see it in the end.